mentioned Miranda, Aaron. So we're gonna slide over to Miranda. And Miranda, mammograms are the best way to screen for breast cancer. Are there any ways that people can screen for lung cancer? So if you are a smoker or a former smoker who's quit in the last 15 years, there is a low dose CT screening and these could potentially save your life. Lung cancer, of course, is one of the leading causes of cancer-related deaths in America, and it's one of the top cancers in Kentucky. So these lung screenings, they catch lung cancer early. That's when we can treat the lung cancer, is in the early stages. Sure, so it's important that we do this. Now there is a certain, is there a certain criteria for anybody who wants to actually get one of these screenings performed? There are, there are several things that um, we look for. You have to be 55 years or older. You must be a current smoker or a former smoker who has quit in the last 15 years. Um, also, you have to be a 30 pack year history smoker. So that means that you might smoke one pack of cigarettes a day, but you smoke it for 30 years. So that's a 30 pack year history or you could smoke two packs a day for 15 years, and that also equals the 30 pack year history, or three packs a day for 10 years. We have to have the 30 pack year history, and then you must be, of course, a current smoker or a former smoker, or you could um, be exposed to radon or occupational carcinogen exposures, have a family history of lung cancer, or um, have cancer or lymphoma yourself. All right, so Miranda, thank you for sharing the criteria that we need to know to make sure we qualify. Now, a lot of people are gonna ask, is this screening covered by insurance? So most insurance, they will cover. Um, some may not though. And um, we offer a self-pay option and also a flexible spending account will help cover the cost of that. This screening is ordered annually and it's unlike mammograms where you can do a self-referral, this low-dose CT screening must have a doctor's order. Um, and, you know, talk to your physician today. If you all think that it's right for you, then you can get it ordered. You're telling us the best ways to actually go to your primary care physician and then take it from there. Yes, yes. Well, thank you both so much for taking the time to talk with us. We're going to put your information up on the screen so that we have the Cancer Affiliate Network information there for anybody who may have any questions or needs to schedule an appointment. We don't want to forget about those mammograms. They're still important as well. Absolutely. Well, thank you both so much for your time. We appreciate all that you do for Central Kentucky. Thank you. Thank you.